Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to share a new feature that Anthropic Cloud released recently and that is prompt caching. Prompt caching means that it is designed to drastically reduce your token cost. And that is a fantastic way that Anthropic provided it. But how does it work exactly, right? So what it means is that normally in every single API request that you send towards the, their server, you send along a system message, you send along certain business information, and it could be a lot of business information every single time, right? And that increases your token size drastically as well. So what Anthropic Cloud basically implemented is prompt caching. That means that that long piece of information that is always static, you can now cache on their server. And that means that it does not have to be sent every single time that you do a new API request. It basically reads all the information of the cached uh, text that you uploaded the first time and it stays there for about five minutes. So it has a TTL or time to live of five minutes. Every single time it will be renewed to five minutes if it's being called on within that time frame. And after five minutes it expires, it will be removed from the server as static text, as cached text and then you will need to apply it again. But exactly what is the benefit of this? So if we take a look at the documentation first, you will see that normally if we go with Sonnet, right? So 3.5 Sonnet, you get a $3 per million input tokens. And if you use caching, you see that a cache write is actually 25% more expensive <laughs> than the base input tokens. But it has a specific reason for that because we're now writing and this only one time, right? So you're now writing certain cached data that needs to stay on the server for five minutes. So this is a one time cost for that five minute period. Then every single time that you do another API request to the same API using the same basically cache text, you only pay 30 cents per million input tokens. And that means that you are actually 90% cheaper, as you can see here as well, than the normal base input tokens, which is pretty insane if you think about it, right? So this allows you to have a cache version of a static text that you normally send along in all of your uh, replies and pay 90% less for each request, follow-up request which is a really good way to reduce your token size and your token cost drastically. So how does it work? If we go inside the flow that I built, I'm using my AI mastery app. Of course, uh, I just enabled this action, um, but it really works pretty simple and pretty easy. So we have a starting question, and then we go inside the, um, basically the prompting, right? And here we will have the cloud API, we have the API key, we have the model, uh, we will have, and now we're using Sonnet, uh, and we will have the system message. And here we have the cached text that I'm going to upload once and then only stays there for the next five minutes. So all follow up requests do not require to, be, uh, to upload this text every single time. So you can see this is basically everything about the membership, my membership to Chatbot Marketing Accelerator. And you can see it's quite a bit of text, right? So I'm going to do this once and then output everything what we get back. So let's see what we get back if we just preview this flow. So let's preview it. Actually, let's clear the bot users first. So I'm going to clear all of this uh, basically all of these custom values. So let me just do that right now. Let me say, I'm going to clear all the custom values. I'm going to get back. I'm going to preview the flow. So let's preview it right now. What is your question? So let's start with a simple one. What is the CMA all about? The great thing about caching is also that the replies come much faster because less needs to be uploaded towards the API every single time. So the initial reply will be a little bit longer, about six to nine seconds. And each follow-up reply will now lead to the fact that there's less information needing to be uploaded because it's already present there. 
and you will also get faster replies as well. So not only do you reduce the token cost, but you'll also get faster AI replies. So this is the information about the membership itself. Looks good. And if we're going to take a look inside the chat itself and going inside the custom fields, you will see that on the return itself, you will now see that I only have 14 input tokens, but I have 14 and 11 cash creation input tokens. So basically what I'm paying for right now is the cash right column, okay? If I'm doing a follow-up request, I'm not writing this cash creation input token again, but now it should basically proceed towards the cash read input token. So if I'm going to do this again, and I can also do that from this section, I don't have to preview the flow, but let's say, uh, can you tell me more about the templates? So if I go back towards the live chat, and I'm going to refresh this section as soon as I get a reply, <coughs> sorry, then you will see that the input creation tokens, so the cash creation input tokens now are actually read input tokens, meaning it's serving that long piece of membership information directly from the cloud server instead of basically me uploading it again, right? And this, of course, drastically reduces tokens for the base input and the base output, which are of course more expensive. And now I basically have 16 input tokens and 199 output tokens, roughly 215 tokens, which is really, really low because otherwise I would come close towards 1700 output or 1700 total tokens for the basic costing, right? So normally I would then go with these pricings every single time. But now I have the majority of the tokens that have been spent. So these 1411 tokens, I'm now paying for the 30 cents per million tokens, which is a 90% decrease of my token cost. And imagine that you have a high traffic chatbot that interacts with users every single time and you feed the same static reply. That means that you are going to drastically reduce your token cost by give or take 90%, which is a fantastic way of basically providing an AI chatbot and an AI service towards your customers or for your own business as well. So I am using the AI Mastery app as mentioned, and this has the cloud message completion with the cache enabled. And so you can also do this directly by using the API that, that is mentioned on the page, right? So that is something that you could do as well. I made it just a little bit easier for users to just give all of their inputs and the API call is done in the backend for them. So you don't have to have any kind of technical knowledge other than to create an API key on cloud, insert it here and insert your data inside the fields themselves. So if you like this video, do let me know by dropping a like on this video. Also help me spread the word about conversational marketing. And if you want to get notified about more of such videos, do press that subscribe button and click the all notifications as well. For now, have a great rest of the Sunday as I'm recording it today. And I will talk to you really, really soon after my vacation break. Take care and talk soon.